Big man. Big man. Are we live? Yeah. Let me check something. Say something. That's not a word. Let me check something. Say something. <laughs> I love that. I don't. <laughs> Alright, so the secret discord tech for that fucked up shadow boss is the not go near the egg. Uh, okay, Davey. Fucking go and turn me the fuck down. You're the star of the show, Apple. You're at a hundred, you're not even that loud. You I'm literally distorting on your stream. That's awesome. That's <laughs> Please turn me down. I, I don't wanna mute you, dude. Oh fuck. There you're forty seven. Are you happy now? I'm not sure. Yeah, me neither. Here, I'll, I'll back off a little bit. Maybe it's better now. Ooh, shit on- oh. I think I'll turn myself down just a little bit more. Maybe now it's better. So this is the place where you die. Are you gonna get killed by the big bat? What was it again? That weird slimy thing? Smoky prog. Smoky prog? Yeah. We're fine. We, if I just ignore the egg, then he won't show up. Okay. How close can you get to the egg without it going off? I don't want to experiment. So the thing I don't understand about here, they won't carry them, they won't carry shit across the water. They need the bridge, which makes no sense. Was that a thing in the second game? I don't think so, but they, they were carrying shit in the third world without the bridge. Or like any sort of, they just carried it through the water. Hmm. Makes no sense. Makes Obama no sense. I, I remember it really bored, uh, bored, maybe also bored, but it really bothered me that in the second game, uh, you cannot use the GameCube controller, even though they did release the GameCube, like, adapter, uh, so that you could just, I think you couldn't even properly play it with a normal controller and use the right stick to, like, guide the Pikmin, like, because that is so important if you're trying to, like, walk over, like, a small, like, narrow path. And for some reason, it was just completely not, like taken out of the game, even though the controller did have two sticks. I think they wanted you to use that for like camera movement. It yeah, I don't dumb. know. Me Moto just like whenever he sees like motion controls, he just hell bent on pushing it, which is really annoying. Everything's gotta have a gimmick. I mean, I I do like using the the Wii Mode. Like, that's why I like the, the, the Wii versions of these games so much, because it's just so much faster. So, like, it feels like a compromise. But, I, I don't know. Uh, do you remember what they did to, like, the... Like, you remember that the game at some point had, like, the option to use, like, the, um, the tablet? So you could use the touchscreen to, like, move your Pikmin and control them. I think I remember that. And then they patched it out. They actually took that out of the game, as if it was like problematic or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that either. Ten more, smile. Hey. 
Hey look, it's starting to look like a proper ship. A massage machine? Yeah. What does that do again? Makes you comf. It makes you cum? Yeah, comf. What oh, makes all of them are- Oh yeah, I was uh, I was in a voice chat uh, with some random people and someone out of fucking nowhere like started talking about how they uh they would talk to their friend and tell them, hey, would you fuck Louie from Pikmin 2? <laughs> and if you if you did, do you think if you if you like if you if you like stuff your hard big cock into his like anus, like he would do those like big like like bulby eyes? Was it the V Discord? Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Which uh I guess this is not a good moment to bring it up, but there was some delicious, stupid fucking, like, drama going on there. It was very funny. Like what? <laughs> it, um... Uh, you know, I'm not gonna say the name, but you know that the, the owner of that server, right? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know how they played Minecraft all the time? <laughs> they had Minecraft drama? Yeah, like, apparently they griefed him and then he banned half the people off the server. It's fucking lit. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. And like, for some reason he didn't ban me, but he was like, Oh, oh, Apple, you're like, you talk to them still, you could be part of them. He was like really paranoid. What the fuck? And like, um... I forgot what exactly it was, but basically they were just like griefing some random kids on Minecraft and they would like they would take like just join their server and it wasn't like those kids were like working on it for the longest time and it is shitty. Like I even said like man, like people were like, like it's just Minecraft, but I understand the idea that you're like ruining like what could be like hours and hours and hours of work. So yeah. I, I, I emphasize on that why people would be mad. I've been in that server, it's huge as fuck. Yeah, but they were like they 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 joined like a random server, Ugh. like just a bunch of like kids were like like not kids, uh, some dudes, and they made like some shitty tower. It wasn't even that like I don't think they put that much work into it, and they were like ruining it, and uh, and then like the owner of the server got really mad, so then they griefed him, and they like took like buckets of lava and put him over his friends or something, <laughs> and he got so fucking mad that he like. <laughs> he banned everyone. God damn, dude. It was a huge fucking deal. Everyone was like constantly talking about it. Like, oh, oh. like something about humility. And, like, oh, and how like, like lack of respect and like honor or some shit. About some fucking Minecraft bullshit. <laughs> I gotta told him, like, listen here. Isn't that a little ridiculous that we're on the fucking V, like, 4chan Discord and we're talking about a fucking kids game with some huge drama? Isn't that a little bit ridiculous? That server's special. And now there's three servers. There's three servers now? <laughs> yeah, uh, there's the second server, which was the refugee server, where there's, like, a lot of people there now, and they always hang out in voice chat there. And now they made a third server, which, uh... This, the refugee server is supposed to be a, uh, it's just supposed to be a temporary server. Right. And the new server is where people would, like, move to if the owner wouldn't, like, add them back to the, the old server. He's slowly doing that, but he's only, like, added three people back in out of, like, several. Um, and yeah. So, like, they, they made a, temp a temporary server for a temporary server. That's so autistic. <laughs> it is. Yeah, so I don't like fuck around with like random servers much anymore. There's just too much drama that goes on. I just can't say how nobody talks about fucking video games there. Nobody does. <laughs> they talk about playing video games, but they never play video games. Yeah, th that's another thing about that server, the the, the old one that like made by that guy. He is very autistic about the fact that he does not want people to talk about video games because he thinks people shouldn't have, like, they, people shouldn't build friendships and connections on Discord. He's really paranoid about that. And he specifically only wants people to go in voice chat to play video games. <laughs> and if you want to do anything else and just talk about shit, then, uh, shut up. You, uh, <laughs> you shouldn't have an opinion. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
Like back when I posted, I just like, like when I was like active in the server, I just like shit posted. <laughs> oh god. It's really boring too. It really like to me like sheds a lot of light on like the average V user. It's not even that they're like kids. They don't have to be kids, but I feel like a lot of people who browse V don't actually know a lot about video games. I don't think they actually play that many video games, like, as in, like, not, like, a lot of video games, but they haven't played a lot of video games in general. No. Like, when I get in there, in a, a chat full of 12 people, and I mention Katamari, and not a single person knows what that is. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of oof. He's level comp apple. I like how it looks. I can't really hear it. I like what the water like I like how the water looks like. Like I like that color, that shade of green, cyan or whatever. You can't Comfy. hear it. I have the stream muted, I don't wanna hear myself. Your voice is cool, dude. What? Your voice is cool, dude. You should hear yourself. <laughs> no. Oh, Throws me off. I have ADD. It doesn't help. <laughs> Do those like big bull? What are they called? Bulba blins? Bulboblums? The bombs? The bulbs, the bulb, bulbor, bulblux, bulb, the bulb, bulborbs, or the the smaller one, ones, right? I think. So the big ones, like that 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 one over there, which I still hate how the red dots are pulsating. It looks disgusting. Yeah, I know. Uh, but the the ones that regenerate are they still are are they in this game? Or are they only in the second one? The ones that regenerate. Yeah, there's a there are bulbarbs, and I I always thought it was like the black ones. When you kill them, they slowly regenerate health, and then when they when the, when it reaches maximum health, then they uh, they just they just get revived. So you have to immediately take care of them. I don't think they're in this game. I think they were like fire, like bugs. They were like yeah, they had a fire theme. But yeah, those were fucked. I remember that, like, in the water level, that was when the first one showed up. And, uh, there was, like, a, you know, there was some treasure there that you could, like, pick up. So you didn't know, should I try to, like, get all my Pikmin to carry that thing over? And it was really far away from your, like, base, from your, like, you know, from the from your onions and whatnot. Yeah. Uh... So, like, you wouldn't know if you would make it, so you're like, well, let me just take this treasure, but then you would know you would have to go back there and the thing would, like, come back to life. It's fucked. <laughs> like, especially when I was a kid and I was really afraid of this game. Just because there's so many, like, enemies that can just, like, completely ruin your entire squad of Pikmin just in no time, so if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna get so fucked up. And that's a problem that I've had for the longest time, where it doesn't matter what game I, I play. If I'm under stress, I, I cannot think straight and I do not- I can be as good as I want. If I'm in a really stressful situation, suddenly I forget a lot of things. Yeah. I'm terrible at that shit. It needs to be perfectly choreographed or for, I forget everything. <laughs> Makes these games more fun. What a fucked up level. It makes it feel like my like if you have the right uh, systematic approach. Oh yeah, you might have fucked it up. Yeah, I lollygagged it too much, but the first couple days are just about set up. Oh, maybe you might make it. What about all your other people? Most of the ones at the camp should be fine. Oh, so that is a thing. Yeah. I, 
I just just get it fucking the next day. It doesn't matter. Yeah, just get as close as possible. We did it. Okay, that's two parts. We have eight more. That was the third part right there. Mm. Well, there's still another half of the level of it up, up yet. Does the ship turn gold in this game? Does it turn gold in the other game? It doesn't too. I really want to see if we can try like working Pikmin to go up out. Oh no! Oh, that would no. be so fun. He died. No, what happened? Oh. <laughs> it's just one. It's just one. Ten days since impact. What's Tamarin again? 30 days, right? Yeah. Mm. Gonna cut it close. <laughs> Is there a monster? Far from it. I know two is a monster for you. No, it's called Piclopedia. Well, it has like the monsters and shit. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like two things. You have the Piclopedia and the Monsterpedia. That shit was so cool. You could like throw the carrot to see what, like, how they come out. That. God, that's like. That defines GameCube to me. That like atmosphere. Like. Either like. I, I, I mean, it's just, that is complete nostalgia. I'll, I'll admit that. Like. I got Pikmin 2 on the same day as I got, like, Sonic Mega Collection, and I got that on, like, Christmas Eve. And I think I also got the Game Boy Player, so I got to play a lot of Game Boy Advance games on the, the GameCube, which is awesome. But, uh... Yeah, I, I remember... There is a certain aesthetic to either s sitting in your room with most of your lights out and then just, like, on your CRT TV, you like, like, like in like, like very dimmed like volume, I guess. You like have like either the Sonic Mega Collection menu playing, like it just in the background, or like the fucking Monsterpedia Piclopedia for Pikmin 2. Yeah. That music playing. Holy shit. So fucking comfy. I will absolutely get myself a CRT and then like a GameCube and I will get all those physical games. I heard getting a Game Boy player is like not worth it though. No. I mean the Game Boy player itself isn't much like that shit isn't that like you can get that for cheap. I could actually take that with me. It's the disc that's like super expensive. And it's region locked too, so it wouldn't matter if I take it with me. Unless I like like do some jailbreak shit with my GameCube. Is that is that easy? Can you like do something to GameCubes like easily to, so that they're just not not region locked anymore? Were they like some sort of like CDs or something that you could use for that? I haven't a clue. You'd know like way before I would. I don't know. I think the only thing that I heard about is uh, action replays. Yeah. I think maybe if you like if you load an action replay like disc and then you open the tray and like replace the disc or something. I'm gonna miss my GameCube games because uh, the GameCube was like one of the only. Was, that was like one of the first consoles where, like, even though you were in the PAL region, you get 60 hertz out of it. Really? So, uh, yeah. Uh, which means for the first time on Nintendo consoles, you would not play a slower game. And I, d I own like. I own Thousand Year Door, like a, like as a, a physical disc and everything. I bought it for 60 euros use, like years ago. Damn you! I also own like the original Paper Mario, like in the N64 box, like in mint condition. <laughs> I'll leave that shit here, and my friend is gonna like have it. I told him like that doesn't mean that you own it. I just want you to take care of it, so please don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's no point in, like, sending that shit over to America. Like, especially with an N64, like, no fucking point. Yeah, I see. Imagine having, like, a full collection of video games that you won't play. Because they run like shit. Actually, I forgot about that co-op mod. I didn't actually look that shit up. I might as well do that now. It should be too hard to set up here, right? Co-op mod. Didn't you bring that up, Barabo? Some guy in the stream last week brought it up. Two-player hard mode mod. Ooh. That's just fucking challenge mode. Right? Oh yeah, I think this is just challenge mode. I don't know if it was you, Barabo, who brought it up, but I don't think that such a mod doesn't. I don't think that exists. Honestly, it should be possible to do though, right? Yeah. That should be something you can mod. Yeah. I mean, I, maybe you would have to do like a split screen thing, but... This frog enemies. He's just fucking stupid. Get up here. It's annoying when you have to drag them somewhere, but otherwise I think they're pretty. Well, one more hop. One more hop. There you go. Goodbye. The stream delay is like only like five seconds. That's not Maybe a little hop. less. Oh, this fucking thing. Oh god. What happens? Nintendo, help! This is a <laughs> fucked up camera. Press C. Did you have that, like, top down view? What button is it? Oh, there we go. Easy. This is ugly. I've never played like this. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, at the very least, you see more. Yeah. I never use that either, especially because like that seems really useful. <laughs> like, you see where all the fucking bullshit is. Yeah. Like I thought, what if I play this game for the first time, and I know that the egg exists, but I don't know where it is. Well, that there you go. 
how we're doing. Also, what, what's what's with these weird like? Is that supposed to be a bone game? Like, how does that shit work? Is that, is that what is that supposed to be? What kind of material? Always creepy. Not sure. Is that a fucking? Is that a beetle tank? Yeah. I don't know how to get him up there. I forgot. Is that thing as scary as it looks? couple days you're just unlocking everything while occasionally getting parts like this it's my zirconian rotor Wait, what? The Japanese version had two-player story mode? For whatever reason, this was removed in the overseas releases? Why? No way. Is that true? So, no way. So if we get a Japanese ROM... We could technically do it. That's pretty cool. I mean, the game is mostly just explained with the symbols and numbers, and that's basically it. I mean, we know the story. Yeah. Huh. Don't tell me this is actually true. Cutting room four. Let's see. Well, there's the, the product placement. Say it here. Japanese version had two player story mode. For whatever reason, this was removed in the overseas releases. How the fuck do you make that up? Toko WH. I've heard Pikmin 2 is the mess code wise, so it would take a genius to make the hack. It's definitely something the world needs before the sun explodes, though. So maybe not that simple. Are there any fun co-op games on this on the on the GameCube that could be like pretty easy to pick up? Let me think. 
remember like specifically co-op. My friend suggested Tales one time. We got bored like five minutes. Tales? Tales of Symphonia. Oh. RPG? I don't know, man. Yeah. It's fun on paper, but like after like the first five minutes of like running after it. Maybe in person. Then yeah. it could be more comfy. But like not over Discord. Like if it disconnects you, I redo it all and then, yeah. Honestly, I would like to know if uh you can play Kirby's Return of Dreamland now. Because that game is fun. I would love to play that in co op. Oh yeah. I'm sure you can. No, it just I know uh when was this? Two years ago? Less than two years ago? There was like a um a huge Discord server for like uh, Dolphin Net play and uh the one thing we had to find out is that at the time uh Dolphin did not uh support using the emulated Wiimote uh it would like co-op like uh with like netplay which is how you play any game, you know, any Wii game. Yeah. Uh, like, Kirby Streamland still only supports, uh, what was it? I think, yeah, pretty much just, like, single Wiimote. You can always, like, go to VG and find a Dolphin or emulator. So, go ahead and see if anyone knows anything. Yeah, let's see what else. Um, <laughs> Digimon World 4. Fuck no. That game is jank. <laughs> Supreme jank. I played that as a kid and I, I loved it. Holy, that is like one of the handful of games that I returned to from my childhood that actually aged like dog shit. <laughs> that game is terrible. Uh, I can't play Jake Cocoon. I didn't have that much of a hard time with Jake Cocoon. I played that for the first time, like, as an adult, and it was a little- it had a little bit of getting used to, but it was fine, I thought. What's wrong with it? I just can't anymore. <laughs> I did when I was young, but now I just can't. What game? Jade Cocoon, it's like an RPG. I feel like the RPGs in general aren't really affected of the whole, like, it ages. They all kind of play the same. Hey, there's not a lot of... What? Not a lot of co-op games on the, on the GameCube. Let's play Sunshine. I'll control the flood. <laughs> I mean, there's one, one particular game that uh, would be awesome, but we're not gonna be able to play it, which is Four Swords Vendors. God, that would be awesome. Why can't we play Four Swords? Huh? Why can't we do Four Swords? I'm, I, I'm not sure what you're playing with that question. No, like, why can't we? Why not? Oh, because that's a game on the GameCube where. Uh, you can only play with a GameCube controller if you're playing alone. As soon as you play with two people or more, every player needs to ha control the game with a Game Boy Advance connected with a, the Game Boy Gimbal. Because uh, every player has their own. It's it's kind of like the Wii U, but every like player gets to use a second screen with a Game Boy, so that it, like you have this like overworld where everyone can walk around on the on the screen on the big screen, but as soon as you go into an interior, like a cave or something, then you look on your own Game Boy. That shit was- that was- that game was fucking cool. It was really fucking cool, but like... Apparently, you can sort of make it work on Dolphin by like, linking that shit to like, like, Visual Boy Advance. Right. Like, the Link version, but it does not work on that play. That sucks. And even then, it's a hassle. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. It's an even greater shame that they only, like... They only, like, kind of, like, re-released the original Four Swords, which is alright. But Four Swords Adventure is, like, its own game. It's a bigger game, too.
<laughs> this took a second to spawn in. What did this? Oh. Oh, holy shit. This drops. What the fuck? Never had that happen. Not much of a co op game. No. There it is. That looks kind of cool. That is a bitch. Oh wait, I remember this. Yeah, you fought this thing already. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks terrible. Is it actually, like, hot? Hot? Over there? Oh. So you have to use, like, red pigment. Oh, they love some geysers around here. No, I just mean, like, the back of that. Oh, like, no. no. Red pigment do more damage, that's why I brought them along. Because it was, like, steaming. <laughs> Steam hands. Uh-huh. Miss that then. Hey, uh, Davey, how about we play Mario Galaxy 2? I play Mario, you play the girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's play the co-op missions in Sonic Colors. Let's play Super Mario Brothers. We could play newer Super Mario Brothers. Fan hack. Fan hack. Yeah, it's apparently really good. There's a series of uh, like fan hacks, like like ROM hacks, like uh, you know, sort of level packs, I guess. Yeah. Uh, that are called newer Super Mario Brothers, and they do that for every new Super Mario Brothers game. And they always, they're always like a million times better designed and more interesting than the actual game. <laughs> I guess it's not saying much. That's cool. Yeah, one day I'll play one of those. They're currently waking on, uh, working on the, the the U version. And I, it, every single time, it's the same team. They just make something completely new. I really wish like 2D Mario was more like creative. Yeah. Again, if they just fucking. If they just fucking added Mario Maker to Mario U Deluxe, I would have been completely fine because then I don't care anymore. Yeah. You know, but uh, yeah, I would love like a like a sequel to Mario World, like a proper sequel with like a unique art style. I I think they should do that more in general with a lot of their games. Oh like, yeah, absolutely. Like like, I guess Yoshi still has it the best because like they still have like a stylized thing. But it's also because it's done by by good feel, and they always do that. The only time Kirby has done that recently was because it was a good feel game. What a shame. I think 3D is kind of the worst thing that happened. Like, a lot of Nintendo's 2D games that they're just refusing to turn into a 3D game. But they keep it 2.5D, but then the, the aesthetic just overall like suffers from that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Are we on an apple? What do one? Four more. We might spend like one more day here. With that. Yeah, this game's like heck of short. It is very short, but it's, it's short and sweet. That's why I wonder if I might like the first game more when I play it.
blue pigment from here on out. That's why I say so. Let me see, um, dolphin nipply. We am. There's Mario Party. Oh, yes, absolutely. The problem with that is, um, again, I guess we haven't really thought about that. I, I, I tend to forget it, but the whole Netflix, Netflix, the whole Netplay thing is gonna make a lot more sense when I live in America because then the, the lag is gonna be very minimal. Um, the big, a big problem with uh, Dolphin is that uh, the host does not have any lag, but that everyone else does. So when you play Mario Party, it's always gonna be unfair. Whoa! I think he has a part. No? Okay. Yeah, like, some of my friends and I tried to play it, and... It worked half the time. Unfortunately. It can be a little unstable sometimes, like, just... It, it usually works out just fine once you get it going, but it takes a little bit. They're working on that. Like, they're, did you hear what they're doing with the, the Discord connectivity? What's, what are they doing? They're gonna make it so that you can actually send people invites over Discord. Really? Like, ne like Dolphin Netplay invites, and then uh, if you accept it, it will open the it will open Do Dolphin and immediately like select the ROM if you have the same ROM and like, connect to you. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Car does it this time? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> like how, are, how many are you missing? What? Um, one sec. First, I gotta make sure the yellow pigmen don't kill themselves. Mm -hmm. That's the hard part. Just turn back I don't know if you can pick what are you doing? Oh, uh. Oh. Yeah. 
I hate those flowers. They're so janky. Like sometimes you just, they just don't work. You just don't want to take your fucking Pikmin even though you clearly threw it in it. Yeah. Very fucks. Is like in the future games, you can just hold A and pull them all, but in this one you gotta mash it. Wait, what? In future games, if you just hold down A, he'll like run around and pull them all at once. You don't like that? No, in Pikmin 1, you gotta mash it. I think they also did that because in future games, you have more and more people that pluck them out with you, and you don't really have much of control over plucking them individually, so you might as well hold them. That's true. Wait, did, did those flowers then disappear? The flowers disappear? In the second game they do. They might disappear in the second game because of like, they don't want it abused in the little dungeons. Yeah, because when you throw them in there, and you got a couple of out of them, they go... <laughs> they just... Yeah, I don't think they disappear in this game. Neat. So I think you can like, if you get 25 parts, you just win. Like, you can just fuck off around. And you'll still get like a good ending. Really? Oh. And you got 26. Yeah. Is there a difference between the, the good ending and the 30 parts ending? Um... I think so. I just forgot what, what it was. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll see. What's that part out there? What? Oh. I didn't see it. Oh, you'll see it. Oh. Oh. Go we'll get it. I'll save it Walk for with Olimar. I'll save it for last, smile. Do you pussy? Do it. No. I'd rather get the puzzle ones first. Get this shit out of the way. Do you have, uh, Return Dreamland? Uh, 
for the GBA? No, that's that's not Nightmare Dreamland. Oh, I'm autistic. The Wii one. Um, I can download. I mean, yeah, I have it. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> 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 We could try, uh, we could try out the, uh, latency. Oh, yeah, what other games do you have? Do you have like, any specific games that I might also have? Do you have, like, more memory cards or something? No. What else do you have? Um, one second. I'll do a screen cap in a sec. <laughs> Where's that button? Because then we can just try it out. The thing is that the way that it works with uh, with Dolphin is that um, the higher the milliseconds of delay, which I, I think is basically ping. Um, like I think every what was it every forty or thirty milliseconds or something you add. No way! I think every fifteen milliseconds you add a frame buffer. So basically, a frame of input lag. And uh, if my ping, usually in online games when I play in US servers, is anything to go by, that's gonna be closer to 200. <laughs> it might not be that bad though. Stupid fucking game first. Stupid fucking game. Let me just let me just route so I don't go near the fucking egg. What is it again? Um. Some of you little shits. Yeah, one one pad buffer per 15 milliseconds of latency per line. Two players at 50 m ms latency would be roughly three to four buffer. Which sounds like an average in the map code. Which, uh... That's about as much as you get on the, on the Switch. On average, without online. Yeah. That was fucking asshole. Stop, you fucking... I think I see the card. I'm making things difficult, Jesus. Why aren't you attacking? I'm gonna pick them, they're scattered. There you go. Do the, uh, um, the spikes on the back there? No, no, no. He just blows. Oh. That's his gimmick. Okay. That's his character arc. I wonder if they wanted to do something like that, where like if you throw the Pikmin from behind it, it's gonna kill them because they like it like pierced. I then that'd be fine. I swear to God, they can do that thing. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so from that distance, he won't activate. Oh, that's the egg. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, when you play, that's terrifying. Yeah. That is actually terrifying. <laughs> I would have hated that as a kid. Fuck that. <sighs> My mommy bought me the strategy guide, so I like, looked up everything on it. I know what we can play in co-op, Davey. Metal Slug? Monster Hunter Try. <laughs> it has split screen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> you could play Sonic Adventure. I play Tails. And you're off the screen 90% of the time. Yeah. Okay. Play Billy Hatcher. That's a good one. A what? Billy Hatcher. That's a co op game? That's versus lol. It's not co-op. Close enough. Dude, we're doing versus as a two. Alright. 
Knuckles and Bruge missions only. <laughs> oh no. Do, uh, Monkey Ball 2, we could do... Sonic Riders. That's a fun one. There it is. Not all parts are necessary to fly the ship. Hit. <laughs> Only two parts more. You almost did it. And here's the last one. For this world. For this world. Where's the actual last one? Oh, you'll see. You'll all see. Secret boss. I don't like the last one. <laughs> uh oh. I never liked it as a kid. You'll see why. I play Rayman Arena. That game is kind of fun. It's a little underrated in my opinion. Have you ever heard of it? Rayman what? Rayman Arena. Um, it's basically two multiplayer games, for like Rayman, and it's done in the Rayman 2 engine, so it like looks and controls like Rayman 2, sort of. You can even like, if you, you can even do like the same moves, like you know, the gliding with the hair, and you could throw like the, 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 the energy balls like in, in Rayman 2. Like the 3D And it's either like, huh? The 3D one? Yeah, yeah, Rayman 2, the 3D game. And, uh... Basically, it's like divided into like a, like a sort of like arena fighting game where you basically you just shoot each other. Or there's a racing game where you actually do like, like these these parkour races, and that one is actually really fun. It's like you're playing Rayman too with like a linear like like lap based like racing track where you have to do like platforming and you race each other, and it's actually pretty fun. This sounds pretty cool. Going. I don't think it's very deep as a game. I don't know that. I, I never mind of that. It's good music too. Dude, I would love to play. Like, <laughs> I was talking about this with Roshi the other day, and it's it really cracks me up. Just. If we're getting Super Nintendo games on the Switch soon, right? Oh shit, fuck. Since... Oh, did you fall asleep? No! Wait, wait, can't you get back up? He fucking died. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops! Fucking asshole Blue Pigman going through the water. Goddamn. Privileged fucks. Anyway, um... <laughs> But yeah, like, like if, the, if the Switch is gonna get Super Nintendo soon, which I guess it's gonna happen in the next couple months, does that mean we're gonna get like N64 the year after? And just imagine Fuck. what that implies. I don't think we're ever getting N64 games. I don't think he. I I, I think I, I kind of doubt it either. But just the thought that we're getting N64 games and then online with them, you know what that means? What does that mean? The first Mario Party you can play online is not even the new one, it's just playing Mario Party 1, 2, or 3 on the N64 online. Thanks, Nintendo. You can play those online, but not the new one. <laughs> that would be actually funny. I would love that. <laughs> because I would only play those! I would only play Mario Party 2 and 3. I would never want to play the new one. Yeah. There's just no bullshit, like, mandatory, like, controllers you need to use. Here we are, Apple. Ooh. Just one more part. Let's go get it. Right meow. Wow. Ship doesn't even look like it's missing a part. It's not. But technically it's missing the most important part. I wonder what. Oh, you'll find out. Maybe a picture of his wife and his kids. I guess it didn't, I? <laughs> Speaking of which, when did you say Kayla was getting up? What? 
Did you like usually leave to talk to Kale or some shit? Oh, uh, it's her day off. Oh, cool. Tell her to get in here. She's still sleeping, dude. It's five o'clock. <laughs> and? I can't believe this. Here we are, Apple, the sleep. final trail. We made it. Do it. We're gonna do it. This music's pretty nice. Right. The place looks cool. Yeah. Oh, foggy. So I'm not good at the game, so the entire first day is going to set up. You gotta do all that for just a single part? Yeah. Is it actually just a picture of his family? Is that what it is? It's more important than that apple. Way more important. Ooh. I actually think you might want to turn the game down a little bit more next time. Turn it down? Yeah, because I, it drowns you out almost completely. They're like, you're, you're really quiet, and I'm really loud, so... Not so, ma so <laughs> maybe don't turn me up, but turn the game down just a little bit, and like... Alright, how about turn me now? I don't know yet. Oh, we'll find out. Okay, how do I get up there? Shit. Uh oh. Up. Wait. Uh oh. Uh oh, I forgot Apple. Uh oh. How do I get up there? Shit. Whatever. I think it's fine now. Uh. I think if you like turned yourself in the game up just a little bit now, then it would be perfect. Shit. I, I, like maybe like five decibels for each. Uh. How about now? Let me know. I'll let you know. Let me know. <laughs> Drown. <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Fuck! Oh no. Damn it, I fucked it up. You fucked it up. I fucked it up. Fucked it up real bad. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, I fucked it up. Don't you stop killing all these poor pigmen? Didn't mean it that time. You, you absolutely did. Shit. This is so hard. This is one of the fucked up parts. Yeah. Keep drowning him. 
spoon. Days did it take you the, the first time? <laughs> like 26, 27. No, I mean, like, just this level. Oh, um, a bit, because I get fucking up. I mean, when the day is over and you come back, is it like. Are all the, like, obstacles back? No. They're all cleared. Oh. Yeah, it's like the, like, the first bunch, like, this level is just set up. Doesn't sound too bad. Oh. At worst, you like, like you have a, f you have 530 fucking Pikmin. Like, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck up here! There we go. Oh, we almost drowned. Boo hoo! <laughs> what you get? <laughs> Holy shit, that fucking, that tootin', the fucking trumpet thing, the kazoo music goes fucking off the rails. Yeah. I don't know if they push the box inward or outward. I don't know. Then again, I don't know what the fucking point of the left path is. It has been a while, actually. Hmm. This level looks really confusing, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> we only need 10 red Pikmin, so... Honestly, I would. I'm kind of looking forward to you at least playing the second game, even if like I mean, there's definitely not going to be any co-op. Cool, but Look, looking forward to what? I want you to play the second game definitely. I I, I literally don't know the game nearly as well as this one. You don't know what? I don't know the game nearly as well as I did this one. That's the fun part. I think your Pikmin are dying. Yeah, whatever. So, um, let me see. I need to get on the bridge now. Wow, oh, man. What hell of an effort there. You didn't even go for it. You were like doing something. We're just I, I need standing to... next to the fucking Pikmin as it's dying. I, I can't. The water's too far away. It's, it's fine. It's... <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Push the box. Are you kidding me? Thank you. <laughs> fucking idiots. Oh, that looks adorable. Was it boss time? What was that? <laughs> is, that the, is that the final boss? <laughs> I didn't know if I, I, I saw that before. Like, if you fought that before or not. No. No. <laughs> no. It was fucking nightmare fuel when I was a kid. <laughs> Let me just pretend he's not there. Pretend he's not there. Are you just ignoring it? <laughs> I'm getting set up. It looked like you were like cutting it a little short. Like I thought it would like go off. I could actually fight him now, but I have zero confidence in myself, so... <laughs> Again, you would be losing a couple Pikmin. You got yeah. a lot more. Yeah. 
It's gonna be one of those things where like it'll be like the barrel thing from Conquer. Like you know, when you get to the haunted house, you gotta ride ride the barrel up and down the path. Hmm. You don't remember that? I do remember that. I remember as a kid, I could not do that shit for the life of me. It took me like two or three hours. I did it at like a friend's house. Got it first try. <laughs> So maybe it's gonna be like that. Let's see. I'm on the edge of my seat. So you don't know what this guy looks like, right? I think I do. I think you I've, do? I, it looks familiar, but I've never really like watched the whole fight. All right. Let's go. Let's go fuck him up. No blues allowed. <clears throat> no blues allowed. Just no blues for this fight. We need the damage. Damage. That feeling no purple. Oh god, this is that a nightmare. No white Pikmin. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> To, no, just just move the camera to the side. If you push it, if you do like the left, stick to the left, then I think it's like a thinner line. I'm too scared. Done. I'll show you how it's done. Are we missing one? Are you fucking kidding me? This little shit. Why are they doing? Whoa! Whoa! They're picking up the bombs. Any more? <laughs> get him! Go get him! <laughs> All right. Okay, let me sort this out. Let me let me route it. I haven't fought this dude in a decade. In a decade. A decade. It's been ten years. Here, no, a little closer. The game is almost a. It's like close to two decades old. So like, there would have been a chance that if you played this game in a couple of years and you haven't played it a decade ago, you could have said, "I have, haven't played this. I haven't done this boss in 20 years." All right, buddy, let's go. Ah! They're kind of falling. Nah, yeah, whatever. Off the edge. Wait, you just doing one like at a time? Whoa. Oh yeah, I remember this. I know what he looks like, yeah. Run! Damn. I like this Mario Kart like organ. Organ? Like the instrument. Gotta be quick about it. There you go, buddy. <laughs> uh -oh. Whoops. Dude, oh my god. Whoops. It's fine. It looks simple enough. There's nothing really that like. It's just a little tedious. 
It is a little tedious, but like, like you can just like hide your Pikmin away. I think the first boss of Pikmin 2 seems harder than this. The fucking giant worm that can just like roll left and right and kill everything. Yeah, so I didn't know how to exploit this shit when I was a kid. Hmm. I was just in the arena at all times. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what you're supposed to do? Maybe you should, uh, you should challenge yourself and, like, play in the arena. Hell no, I'm not a fan. I'm a <laughs> pussy, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, that does a lot, a lot of damage. Get him to half damage. Eat the other Pikmin, you stupid fuck. He's right there. Yeah. I think the stream really got worse. No, it got better. What do you mean worse? I think it's like over 10 seconds now. Uh, no more. That's fine. you're doing it. I'm doing it. The bitch way. Turn around. Nope. Yeah. Maybe. No. no. There we go. Man, maybe I was just stupid as a kid, huh? We're gonna kill him in the next few cycles. Let me try something. You're gonna get greedy. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wow, what an asshole. Whatever. What happened? Oh, you, you can't don't, see it yet. You don't want to. Oh no. What the fuck's his problem? Would have been funny if you just ate all your Pikmin over there. Vore me, you asshole! Oh my god. Apple, he's not voring me. He's learned. Yeah. Apple, he's learning. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do now? You're not gonna have enough. Oh, we'll have enough. No! It's not too good. Don't worry, Apple, we have the expendables here for a reason. Expendables? The expendables. Oh, there's a <laughs> one. Oh, you can just get more. Oh, I thought that it was like... There, there is a limited, limited... There is a limited amount. There's like a limited amount. There's a very generous amount, but there's a limited amount. Fuck this guy! <laughs>
my you god. Did but at what you cost? But at what cost, Apple? <laughs> Excuse me. That's what? the item. The most important item, Apple. My safe. <laughs> does the game have like a thing where it like explains what each part does? Yeah, it does. Like in like a, some sort of like little way. You haven't been seeing like the descriptions every now and then? No. I again I never played this game, so I uh, Yeah, so you just click on it or like when you find it? Oh, oh I guess I, I guess I haven't been paying much attention to that. So I thought this was gonna be a lot heavier. I remember being like 60 or some shit. And I had to like run back to my thing and get Pikmin. It's as heavy as ever. Maybe not. But maybe I was just shit as a kid. Feels bad, man. I mean, that wouldn't be a problem. You could just go get more Pikmin from your thing. I actually remember one time I did this. Like, I killed him, and then I ran out of time. I had to fucking spend another day just to get the stupid part. <laughs> I mean, as long as you don't have to fight him again. Yeah. It was really grindy. So day 15. What estimate do we have? The what? Do we have like an estimate? I said 9 or 10 days, but that, I think that's the speed run time. Wolf. Hmm. 15's good. I hope. Here we are. Wow. You know, it's gold. Oh wait, it's always that way. Did it have a tent before? Oh no, it does not have it yet. It doesn't have it now either. Oops. Oh no, it's goodbye. Shit, they just beat it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you! And that was Pikmin. Is that a pink one? A pink onion? I don't know. I don't think so. <clears throat> this is a good, good ending. Yeah. There's a little antenna clipping out of his little pod. Disaster. Little does he know. Bad news are waiting at home. Cool. Cool game. So if you look here, you can see like the optional parts. The optional? Yeah. Mm. So I, I guess this fucking captain's cushion seat isn't optional.
Where's... I don't actually see it. It's the top right. Top right? Yeah, pilot seat. Oh, oh. And that was Bickman. B Bickman. Be sure to stay after the credits to see who they recruit to fight Thanos. Yamauchi is dead. Miyamoto is going to be dead soon. <laughs> oh god. A fucking Barry Pickman in his backyard. Did you play Pikmin insane, 3? Though. Me? Yeah, I played it. I never finished that. <laughs> right there. Yamaguchi's dead. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, I think it. Wait, I could be wrong. I think I 100% did it. Wasn't Alamer. What was, what was the reason for, like, Alamer being on the planet again? Did they, ever, did they explain that? Because I don't think I beat it either. I think it was just. Oh, he, he went on adventure. Yeah, he just went. Bill Trinan's dead. Was Louie in the game too? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that actually. But like, you know... The playable characters are completely different. Oh, wow. Alf, Brittany, and Charlie. I actually didn't care for them as much. I know Brittany I literally know. ruined everything. She's the cute one, though. <laughs> she ruined everything. She's the best one of the three. <laughs> Super Mario Club. What the fuck is the Super Mario Club? I think they're the beta testers. Oh. Or support crew. Oh, here's all the enemy names. That's cool. Oh, that's neat. Here's your fucking monsterpedia. Armored cannon beetle. Oh, that's description too. That kind of looks cooler than in the actual game. Like this perspective. That's a bit of a fish eye to it. Remember that asshole? Yep. <laughs> Bread bug. I like that name, Bread bug. <laughs> yeah, that, like the FOV is like insane in these. Pop bud. Oh, bulb bears, that's what they're called. Bulb berry. I don't think we actually saw any bulb bears. Oh, bulb bear. And then bulb borb. No, that's the one episode we didn't, enemy we didn't see. The dwarf bulb bear. That's funny, yo. Actually, you 100% the game that there was an entire, like, enemy type you didn't see. <laughs> Interesting. Some enemies show up on, some, like, different days. Oh. For example, that fucker in the egg, he doesn't show up mm. after day 15. He does not show up? No. Huh. There's also, um, there's a water enemy we didn't see. That one. You'll see in a sec. Fucking name. Fuck. Google. That actually kind of looks cool. Is it fun to fight? Is it like. I don't. An asshole enemy? I don't remember. 
The only thing I know is like you can see it on day I think nine or ten on the first like the crash landing area. Oh. We saw the flint beetle, but I didn't fuck with it. It's annoying. I really like that though. I I, I kind of wonder how much further like the second game went with that, and if the third game actually like did that at all. That you have like unique enemies that you you can only see in certain days, which means that if you play the game like again and you're better at it, like imagine you could get to like a certain level in a really quick time, and that means that you will see something special. You would think they would have done something like that. They just that's just like they dropped the whole day concept entirely and just lost that. Um. Doesn't have that either. I think like a lot of these enemies are like tech demo enemies that don't didn't like make it in the game. Yeah. Like because I, I remember like even as a kid I remember seeing like a lot like some of these enemies. Like, we saw the mm -hmm. fucking mushroom. But... That's like if you get a bunch of red pigment, just keep throwing it at his head, and it'll get like still mucked. You can not kill it though? You can kill it. He drops like an orb or some shit. I mean, I would hope they wouldn't like drop something important. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> he just drops like an orb or something. By the way, I think they actually made the bulbarts look better in the second game. I don't remember them looking so like, like like they had a lot of art. They have a lot of like hard edges, low poly. Oh, you... nah, nah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Walk hole, don't. Freeze frame. <laughs> the end. Happy. Smile. Is that all it is? It's just happy? Is that all like- is that the good ending? It yeah. just shows that. Huh, I thought there was more. New game plus. Heart mode. There is a challenge mode. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. There's just how many Pikmin you can get. It's like score tech. I'm not gonna yeah. fuck with it. Wait, so what can you do now? Is there like any reason to start your save file? What happens if you have like the perfect like ship and you wait until th day 30? What do you mean? If oh. If you can still load your save file and you have all like 30 like parts. I think the same happens? thing happens. I think the same thing happens. That is so stupid. <laughs> I'm just going to do something real quick. Oh wait, you have 29. Okay. It's, it's that dumb shit where it doesn't save. Yeah.
What are you doing? I'm gonna fuck up the prog. The frog? The prog. The prog. Not him. Oh, you mean. <laughs> Is he still there? He should be. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> and so his enemy command is just to go right to my sh ship. Yeah, it looks disgusting. There she is. Seeing that as a kid was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, the thing itself. I mean, that's fine. But I just find these, like, stationary objects that just stand there and summon something if you get close to it. There's something about how it's an immovable object, but it does something. Like a trap. Tell me you trapped it there. Oh my god. I thought you found an exploit. No. That's a that's not too bad. I guess if you know what you're doing. Yeah. I think so. I originally thought I'd like kill Pikmin inside the ship. Oh god. Yeah. I don't think it does that. I think it's just roaring. There he goes. And here's the thing. Wow. And that is gonna be... What is that? What is that? What is that doing? Oh god. Well, if you kill it, it makes up for the loss. Oh my god. <laughs> huh. That's pretty cool. Well, that was Pikmin. Well, you did it. You beat the Pikmin. I'm turning off the stream, so. Alright. Good